So now I've got the tree trunks painted in the oils. I just want to bring in some colour that's of, it's really some foliage um, of branches and things that are coming in front of that. This will break this area up a little bit. I'm going to be quite direct with this. I don't want it to be fussy. So I'm just using quite broad strokes with the palette knife. It's a kind of mid-tone colour, it's not very particularly light or dark. And that's um, and I'm using the paint very thick there. So it's covering a lot of the oil paint that's already on the canvas. So I'm using it thick. I'm putting it down very directly. Um, try not to muddy the colour of what's already there. And I'm going to use some of this colour in other areas. Breaking that up a little bit across here and perhaps a little bit here too just to bring in um, the colour throughout the painting a little bit um, over here perhaps just keeping it very simple trying not to fuss about it I don't want to put all the leaves in for instance it's just simplifying simplifying it rather like this colour and I think it's going to work well with all the blues once I get them in. So I'm going to bring a little bit of it down here too. I've mixed up a lovely cool yellow green because um, as well as this soft green here there's some more vibrant greens coming through in front of the soft areas that I've got there already so again in a similar way I want to be very direct with it now using the thicker paint building up the oils and I'm looking for places where this colour can come in. a lot of, there's just little flecks of it, you just want to get a little bit down, not too much. Most of this is going to be quite dark for um, greens, so just a little bit there. Perhaps even a little hint through here where the bluebells are. There's quite a lot of light in this area and there's little flecks of green throughout. I'm just going to bring a little bit of that in now at this stage. This, this is a branch coming across with leaves and this is actually sort of coming down into this area here. Painting is about a bluebell wood, so I need to start to think about these blues coming in. I'm going to start with a soft grey blue, really, very 
very soft, just slightly bluer than some of the greys I've already used. Um, and just start to build up areas of um, colour where the bluebells are. Trying to keep it very simple, using quite thick paint. I don't want it to be fussy. Gradually blue will become more of a feature in the work. areas of acrylic where I've got the reds and pinks there are going to be little flashes of that colour little pops of that colour underneath coming through where I've got the blue
now I'm going to start bringing some greens into the painting. There's a lot of, they're probably brambles in the undergrowth here, but it's quite a, a nice green and they're quite nice shaped leaves as well. So I'm going to bring a bit of that into this area. And of course up here we'll need to have more green. Now, I always mix the greens. I do use Viridian, but I never use it straight from the tube. I'll always mix um, some white, some yellow, even a bit of red to neutralise it a little bit. So you get a softer, more leafy sort of green. So. In fact, I don't really um, use many colours straight from the tube. In fact, most of my colours are, are mixed colours. Um, I'm just going to go in. I want to keep it very, fairly simple again. I'm not going to get fiddly. But just bringing in areas of, of the green now over a lot of this dark that I've put in with the oils. So I'm going to use this lovely, fairly dark green um, at the moment, just and um, just to sort of to start with. There'll be other tones coming in, but and now and then picking up because in the foreground here, the leaves are quite close, so you do get the odd leaf um, shape. So most of it is just going to be fairly bold, simple shapes. And then you'll get one or two leaf shapes, a little bit more precise, um, which I think will just help to describe the rest of the colour, really. It just gives a clue as to what these plants are. And so, in a way, try not to get fussy, but ha having little hints of the of the leaf shapes in some of the more foreground areas. But generally, I want this to be quite simple. This area, uh, lower area here, it's quite dark. But I, I just want it to be a quite calm area if you like. So as I go I'm mixing the colour and each time I mix it, it, it could be just slightly different, which is lovely too, because you get these nuances of different colours within the painting. And some of the paint is going to be very thick, which also helps to describe the feeling of these leaves um, in the foreground here. Trying to vary the way I put the, the paint on the canvas so it's not all in the same direction. So you get it's just a little again a little hint of how the leaves are within this area without getting fussy. So a little hint here and there of the foliage. While I've got this green mixed up, I'm going to start to bring a few little touches up here as well. There's a lot more to do in this area, but it's nice to have similar colours throughout the painting. So you can see in an area like this, I've got the, the light 
paint that I put on right in the beginning of the, this oil stage is now I've got the darker tones of the leaves so you've got that contrast of dark on light which you could do that with oil paint and so thinking ahead is very important when you're working like this in layers.